in there now. You know they ain't said that. They was gonna even go ahead and use Bush. But see, they said that Bush got the dog on ego, and they said they told Bush to do some specific things in the good in, in the Persian Gulf War, and he went and did it his way. So they say they stuck the balance. They say actually he won. It's still a conservative society. They say he won, but they say they're gonna let you. We gonna let you know how powerful we are. They stuck the balance. And he and, and gave it the bill. Even if it was gonna go with, it was gonna go with Clinton anyway. I mean Bush anyway. But they gave it the bill. They said, we're gonna let you know, we're gonna put out a bar that we projected in the first place. And they stuffed the balance and gave it to Bill Clinton. You ever thought about something? Who's that? Who the hell be counting them balance in the first place for you all believe in a damn president? <laughs> oh, he win? Right. Oh, we vote, 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 vote. Are we that stupid? The man, here's a man to give him small parts to the Indians. And wipe out millions of them. You know how, you know, check this out on this piece. With the Sioux Indians, the only thing they had was buffalo, was their primary source. Talk about and they said, go out there and kill up the bird buffalo, and we'll pay, pay the purchase right. to kill up the buffalo. You know, they killed, when they, check this out, oh. when they started, they had 60 million buffaloes when they started. You know how many they killed? When they got through, there wasn't nothing but 80 buffalo there. <laughs> the white man is the devil. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They had enough buffalo stacked up to make nine of these buildings. That's how it looked like a big old two-story, three-story building. Buffalo skulls. You know this man, the devil. The way of everything is messed up. And the yes. one and the one that helped them do it ran the Cherokees out of North Georgia. His name is Otis Oliver Howard. That's who Howard University. University. Oh, okay. And see, not only that, you know that I mean the man, look. <laughs> the man is undescribable. He not only did he 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 didn't just live up to the name devil. He surpassed the name devil. He's <laughs> diabolical. Diabolical. I mean, so we know what to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and end. Uh, yeah, let me tell you another thing. This book, let's, let's get some books on, on the thing, too, because we always need to start giving out books. Uh, yeah. Now, okay, look. Say he just sold this one. Yes. Look at this. Look. Uh, this book begins to unravel the strategy of darkness that has held black man, black, that's held the black man, I'll put that in there, in bondage to a will not together his own, not altogether his own. Long ago they came as renegade bandits, and they put this little thing, they're trying to fool you from another star system, disregard that, but you can understand you decode the beast, from another star system. They became uh, uninhabited, inhabitants of the earth. Now, with the technical wizardry, they unified every aspect of our lives. They manipulated the and manipulated the genetic pattern. They altered the very fabric of thought. The white man got us on his thought problem. Right? Okay. The very fabric of thought. Let me get it. I lost my place. Um, and they created a counterfeit race of soulless humans. Automations programmed to control by ways of death. So he's saying that these, these so-called aliens created this counterfeit race. We understand. We done went through all that. But he's still saying a counterfeit race of soulless humans. Invading the mind, these aliens altered the perception of reality, penetrated the psyche of man, which thought patterns that would sustain a lesser state of awareness. They gave you a thought that's got you on a low level. The mechanical force wheel is the nucleus of synthetic self and anti-self warring with the real self. Warring with the real self. So you got an anti-self right now. That's the the white man, you the, you the, you the, what they call the black European, or the Afro-Saxon. Afropean. Afropean, <laughs> warring with the real self, your real African self, right? Check this out. For this reason, now look at this, that's why you got to get to this, the Godhood. 
For this reason, man is God in exile. A, the black man is God in exile. A prisoner of a brave new world. You can get the book Huxley. There's Huxley. Brave new world. Of a brave new world. Until he challenges the smothering oppression of the soulless ones, the shackles of limitation will remain. The soulless ones. A little book called Soulless One, cloning a counterfeit creation. So now what this boy is the soulless one by Mark L. Prophet. Yeah, so what happened this, 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 what happened this boy is, you got a group of people up here that are against the New World Order establishment, so they're telling the secrets. You see? Mm-hmm. Thinking they're going to get some kind of leni- leniency. Well, a lot of Elijah Mahoney said, Hunter, um, Honorable Elijah Mahoney said that there will be a little, uh, a little bit that will be saved, but eventually they would have to be killed because it's not a human. It's, a, it's not a human. human. So it's got to be killed. You understand? Okay, now look. It's a little book, The Third Eye. I didn't read it because you know how I ended up that. We don't want to read novels, you know. And gave it to the sister here, Dawn. She read it, and man, it's kicking hard. Okay. Talked about, they had a what? How many year old prophecy was that? I don't know how old it was. I think it was like a, a 700-year-old prophecy that a white man was going to come in and invade Tibet. Tibet. This 700-year-old prophecy was on schedule. It invaded Tibet. Not only did it invade Tibet, it, debated, it, it invaded Tibet in 1904. The British came in and invaded. They had this prophecy. All by the third eye. That's that Akashic reference. From the future and the past. Okay? Also talks about a group of people in spaceships that's more advanced than the Earth. And also talks about that these people... <laughs> Uh, watching us now, like caged animals, they are observing us like caged animals, saying these people are nothing but savages. We on that beast level too. Good book. This is called The Third Eye by T. Bashing Rampa. Last Negro. And it deal with the astral plane. The astral plane, open up the pineal gland, all that. Third eye, gotta get it. Boom. Left out of the chakra. The chakra. The book that I was talking about a few minutes ago when I said, uh, the book that I was talking about a few minutes ago, The Kundalini Experience by Gopi Krishna. Got to get this book, The Kundalini Experience, the, uh, for the New Age. Got to have a handbook, as well as the handbook, Psychic Self Defense, because not only has been in the handbook, once you really get into this non-human they're talking about, and the spooks, and all the evil spirits, we're dealing with a whole lot of stuff. Even black people is into this messed up. Evil spirits and all this here. Uh, <laughs> Let's see a good book. Let's see a uh, good book. The book dealing with serious. All of that. Timeless book. White people know this is their Bible. Because you got, because guess what? This book is awesome. If you don't get nothing, you got to get the Cosmic Trigger, Volume 1, Robert Anton Wilson, 1978. Ain't never went out of print. Dropping on the Dogon, the UFOs, the DNA. Kundalini, all of that stuff. Robert Anton Wilson, the cosmic trigger. Gotta get it. Um, in here he goes into the man who was abducted by Sirius and the projections that I just gave you of what he said. Cosmic trigger, you'll have it here too. Y'all come and get the stuff today. Hey, y'all, y'all ain't gonna have no stove, but y'all have a whole lot of books on the side. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sell off everything about these books. <laughs> he talks about a man that was abducted by Sirius, right? That man that was abducted by Sirius is called George Hunt Williamson, his 1954 trilogy or tale of what was going to happen. And I was telling you, it's called Other Tongues of the Flesh. A Bible. A doggone Bible. Got to have it. Even though he refers to a Bible a lot in here, Writings in 1954, a Bible. Other tongues, other flesh, George Hunt Williams. Let me tell you something. They got a whole lot of books out here on the New Age, all this UFO stuff, and you buy them, it's all kind of spooked up stuff. This book was written in 1954. That means it's the real deal stuff on the abducting. Now, the real deal people that, the real deal people that on these Kabbalion societies, we go out to these white places where they there meet. They ain't got but one UFO book in the whole place. This one. 
There's another uh, a, a New Age bookstore uh, that deal with all kind of holistic New Age down in North Highland. They ain't got but one UFO in with there. Well, the UFO there ain't real, but where the book? Just other tongues of the flesh and the cosmic trigger. Okay? George Hunt Williamson. Uh, another book, this guy here, Brad Steig, I thought it was a good book because he deals with the archetypes when he's talking about the goddess segment in here as relationship to UFOs and all this type of stuff, too. Good book, you know. Some of it is 